The purpose of this video is to go over how the history tool works in Tinkerplots. This setup will be similar to the um, free throw activity where we have hit, hit, miss, hiss. So we have 75% chance of making the free throw. I'm shooting once and my repeat is 10. The reason I have these low is because I want to see what's going on. Well, notice that I ran the sampler once. I have my 10 trials and they're plotted here. If you click on the chevron, you can go down to History, Collect Statistics Tools. So let's click on that. Notice that we have gray bars around the 60 and the 40 percent. I'm going to click on the 60 because I'm concerned with the hit attribute. This is the same thing I did in the candy activity where I was looking at the percent of one of the type, one of the colors of candy. Right now, the 60 percent has gotten thrown into this case table because I'm taking the history of anything that's plotted here. So I'm going to hit collect one more here and let's see what happens. Will it set the sampler in motion to draw 10 more trials, run 10 more trials of this? We see our 10 here. We see 80 percent. So this person hit 80 percent. Let's go ahead and collect one more. We have 10 repeat. We're shooting 10, we have 10 trials. We have our results here at 70. The 70 gets thrown over here. Let's say I want to change this 10. Let's take this 25. The problem here is they need to get rid of these 60, 80, 70 in the history table. We call this a history table. So I'm going to go over here to history options and I'm going to turn the animation off, but I'm also going to Let me click here again. I'm going to select here and it's slightly off the screen, but the second option down is delete all history cases. So we want to go to the second option. Sorry, it's off the screen, but we want to delete all the history cases. Now my repeat is at 25, so I'm running 25 samples. When I click this, just to double check, this should end up at 25, and it does. Now because this was all still set up, the 84% goes into the history table. Well, I want to collect more, and that's where it, turning that animation off kind of helps. So let's take this up to 49 and collect these guys real quickly. So now we have 50 samples. What I want to do, I want to plot those. So now we have a dot plot, and I always like to set my icons smaller. We have our dot plot here, and I'm going to put on the mean. So we're going to show the mean, we're going to show the numeric values on a good day, show numeric values, and notice that we have 75.44. Boy, that is really close to that 75%. This is the distribution of the percents that we have a hit. And this is the average of that distribution. This should match as, as we increase our sample size. We increase the number of trials. This value will approach our theoretical probability of 75%. Thanks for watching.